Hello guys and today I will teach you how to make your Windows 11 run faster. Ok so let's get uh, straight into it. So the first thing we will do is go to search. Search for me is on the left hand side but for you maybe it will be in the middle because that's the default for Windows 11 but I have moved it to the bottom left. Uh, but anyways just click on search and then type services.msc and press enter and then you will press W on your keyboard and then try to find Windows search so enter and then you go from automatic delayed start to automatic and you click apply and it will make everything open much faster than before. The next thing we can do is go to Windows Update which is immediately below Windows Search. So we click Windows Update then we go to uh, from Manual to Disabled because Windows Update we also need to stop Windows Update because it will make your Windows run slower unnecessarily. When you disable the Windows Update you can re-enable it just by entering the, win uh, the services MSC. But anyways it will re-enable itself if you want to update your Windows of course. Ok, then we click OK. The next thing we do is press S on our keyboard and then we look for the service called sysmain we double click then we go to from manual to disabled so click from manual to disabled on the start startup type and then click apply this will make the services in the background for the Microsoft to stop running. They run unnecessarily sometimes and you don't need them. It, it will not make your Windows unstable. It will just make your Windows run faster than before. Okay, this is now done so we can exit the services menu. The next thing we can go do is go to this PC and then we can go to your C drive where your Windows is located or whichever drive your Windows is located and then we can right click onto it then we go to properties then we go to details and when we enter this domain then we go to temporary files we click there and then we go to remove files. We click there and we remove the temporary files which are unnecessary for us. Okay. After that is done we click X. We exit this section and we click X again here. After that we can go back to the local disk C and then we click on right click on it again. Then we go to properties. Then what we can do is go here to tools section. We click on tools. Then we can optimize our SSDs. Of course if you have SSDs you can optimize them which means to trim them which is different than defragmenting so we just click on optimize then you can see that uh, my C drive my D drive which and my F drive which are all SSD drives they need optimization so we click on C and then we go to optimize and then it will trim the drive and it will make it run faster as well and be in better shape. 
then we can go to the next SSD drive for me and then we click again optimize and I have one more SSD drive and I click optimize again so depending on how many SSD drives you have you can optimize all of them or you can just schedule optimization you can turn it on so uh, it will optimize itself for me I don't do that I optimize manually but for you you can click here if you want and then it will optimize the drives for you automatically weekly if you want or you can maybe do it monthly if you desire of course then we click OK and then we exit as well and we close this section the next thing we can do to improve the performance of Windows 11 is go to search we can type CMD it will open the command prompt and then you right click on command prompt you run it as administrator click on that it will ask you do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device you click yes then it will open this command prompt section here you can type SFC and then scan now okay I need to change the keyboard first for me so SFC dash scan now okay we need to try again SFC scan now okay so now it begins system scan and this system scan lasts for a few minutes or maybe a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your drive anyways this will complete soon and it will see whether your system is corrupted or not if it's corrupted then this will fix any corruption that your system has and it will make your system run faster again it will make everything move faster than before so we can wait for this verification to complete because it's very quick as we can see it's already up to 60 to 64 percent okay so we will wait for this to see if we have any corruption in our Windows 11 so as you can see verification is 100 percent complete and Windows resource protection did not find any integrity violations which means that my system is not corrupted however yours might be so if it is this will fix any problems that your Windows might have after we have done this we can close the command prompt so click on X to close it the next thing we can do is go back to search and then type control panel and you click on the icon for the control panel it will open this section that says system and security at the beginning you need to click on that so click on system and security then go to power options then you can see different power options for me I have balanced which is recommended by the Windows but balanced is something that will make your windows run slower it will just take as much resources as it needs however you need to go to high performance so just switch from balanced to high performance and it will make everything run faster again then we can close this 
The next thing we can do to improve the performance of our, of our Windows 11 is uh, to just remove temporary files. In order to do that, you need to press Windows plus R and then you type TEMP. Then it will open the temporary files for your PC. So you can just click on highlighted the temporary files, click Control A, then click Delete, then leave this section. Again, we can go to Search, or we can just press Windows plus R button again, and then type type percent temp percent press enter it will open this section for the temporary files again so again uh, press control plus a to highlight all of these temporary files then press delete it will ask you the action can't be completed because some file is open in microsoft edge for example you just click on do this for all current items and click skip and then you can leave this section again the next thing we can do is again press windows plus r key then type prefetch or p r e f e t c h press enter here I don't have any files in prefetch be because I have disabled sysmain but if your sysmain has been enabled you will see some files here if you see them again press control A to highlight them and then press delete to delete them okay now we can leave this section so the last uh, now we can delete all of the, these files from the recycle bin, these temporary files. So just right click on the, on the recycle bin, click on empty recycle bin. And they will ask you, are you sure you want to permanently delete these two items? Click yes. So after that, the last thing we can do is open the program or the software called CC Cleaner. So just double click on it if you have it on your computer. If you don't have it, you can download it for free. It's a free software and it's amazing software as well. I recommend it a lot. I think it's amazing. So after you have uh, opened it, for me it's in my language which is a bosnian language but for you probably it will be in english so you just click on this first uh, checking the condition of your pc and then scan this pc or scan the computer and then it will ask you do you want to close the program that's being uh, conducted right now you click close this program and then it will ask you like it will say that, that the application takes too long to close do you want to uh, close it forcibly and then you click yes and then it will scan your computer and it will clean any uh, any sections that are necessary uh, that are necessary to be cleaned you can also click on clean by yourself this here and then it will clean your computer, all the cookies, all the history, temporary files, etc. Then click next. Then you can click clean again. After you have done that, you can go to the next, the second, the second section here, and then click on it. And then click analyze and then start the process of cleaning 
so click here you can click again to clean all the cookies history temporary files after that we can just close this program and that's it all of these steps will make your Windows 11 run much faster than before it will make it smoother as well and the, these steps are very easy to do easy to follow so I hope that they were helpful for you and I hope that uh, I will be able to make more content like this in the future more more uh, more of these let's say like not intros but tutorials for you so I hope I will be able to make more tutorials for you in the future and if you have uh, if, if you have found this tutorial useful then please click like subscribe comment if you have any uh, further issues and share and uh, thank you very much and see you next time